What is the guys title once again? And I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cooking Our Kingdom. And I'm sure some of you guys are still wondering, hey, Hyrule, there's a lot of different teams as well as Sherbet Cookie is being used inside so many of these different game modes. What are going to be the best toppings to be used on Sherbet Cookie? In this video, I want to quickly go over which scenario you should be using certain toppings for. And let's get into it, guys. So starting with the arena right now, we are going to have a couple of different topping sets that are going to be used for Sherbet. So when it comes to allowing Sherbet to be protected by Financier and uh, receiving that light shield extra healing as well as all of those buffs, then Sherbet has absolutely no excuse but to use something like Full Swift Chocolate. All right, the reason why I say this is because of the fact that Sherbet needs to constantly put out those frost debuffs onto the enemies you know slowing their attack speed as well as allowing them to take extra damage from sherbet as well as frost queen if you guys are using frost queen together with him so that's the reason why we are using full swift chocolate you know the uh cooldown is really really important in order to send out those shards because of the fact that those 15 shards that uh sherbet cookie does shoot out do go and attack the cookie with the highest attack first and then it cycles around hitting all five cookies and then going back to that highest attacking cookie so having that cooldown you know come down real fast it's going to be the best scenario for sherbet cookie if you guys have someone like finish here to protect sherbet giving that extra healing as well as that light shield and on top of that sherbet does have that passive where excessive healing is going to allow him to have an extra hp shield so that's the reason why Sherbet is going to be using Full Swift Chocolate in majority of the arena comps, all right? However, when there comes to team comps like this one right here, where Pinecone is going to be the one receiving Financier's shield, all right? So where Pinecone is using five of the Searing Raspberry and, you know, Sherbet is not the highest attacking cookie, then, you know, Sherbet needs to be using Full Solid Almond. Uh, right now, I don't have it because I'm not using this comp, but, uh, you know, I do recommend you guys to use five of the Solid Almond like I shared in the arena comp video that i shared for that particular caramel arrow comp and it is going to be something like uh this where i do use full solid almond with around eight percent cooldown all right so yes the cooldown does matter and yes it is going to definitely help out but i would say the most important thing is going to be the damage resist for sherbet because of the fact that sherbet does need to survive and cast the frost debuff in order to support pinecone so in this case although sherbet is going to deal a lot of damage he is going to be used more towards that support type where he is going to decrease the attack speed as well as allow Pinecone to do more damage because of the frost debuff. And on top of that, you know, uh, Sherbet is just really annoying to deal with, right? Especially if he has so much damage resist and he's able to heal uh, way more than whatever damage he takes. He literally is going to be like a zombie where he doesn't really die, all right? So even though you have one uh, healer as well as no finisher buff, uh, you know, Sherbet with Full Solid Almond is definitely going to be a really, really, really good uh, option for you guys. Especially if you guys are using someone like Clotted Cream or Pinecone in the team where they are going to be receiving the Fitness Ear buff. And also, if you guys don't have Full Swift Chocolate, that is really, really good, okay? Or you have to really sacrifice on the damage resist, then you guys can just go and straight up put damage resist toppings on Sherbet. It's not really a problem. You know, as long as Sherbet survives, in the long run, uh, you guys are going to be on the top majority of the time unless you guys are dealing with someone like Herb. However, it can be a bit different for the World Exploration. You guys still can use Searing Raspberry here because of the fact that it is going to be the World Exploration and you guys can take advantage of controlling your cookies and when they use their skills. So there are going to be times when you guys do want to use Full Swift Chocolate However, in some cases, you guys can go straight up, go the attack, and go uh, full Searing Raspberry and just deal a bunch of burst damage to the enemies and uh, take advantage of Sherbet as an actual glass cannon or, you know, just a very, very strong burst damage dealer uh, alongside someone like Brute, Wildberry, Dark Cow, and of course with Frost Queen, who is going to be able to take advantage of the Frost debuff. All right, and also for the guild boss battle, there are different teams right now, uh, especially inside of the Living Abyss and the Red Velvet Dragon. Red Velvet Dragon, you're going to be probably using full solid almond because you do want to survive the damage reflection as much as possible. But for the Living Abyss, there are different builds. There are uh, builds where you can use full serene raspberry, three serene raspberry, two juicy apple jelly, or just a full swift chocolate. It just really comes down to what kind of topping set you guys can have and the substance. But uh, from testing, 
definitely full serve chocolate is going to be the better option in majority of the cases. So quickly to ramp it up for sherbet cookie, the best topping for like almost all of the game mode is going to be full serve chocolate. And then next one is going to be the full solid almond. And the last one is going to be full serum raspberry or a mixture build like this one. Uh, where you guys are taking advantage of attack and the crit or damage resist depending on what you guys need. Uh, but definitely, once again, in majority of the cases, Swift Chocolate is going to be the best topping with the focus on damage resist as well as cooldown. So hopefully that kind of helped you guys to understand what kind of uh, toppings to use in which scenario for Sherbin. Of course, like I said, the very simple answer is going to be full Swift Chocolate and that's going to be the best thing. But, uh, you know, it depends really on what you guys have, what kind of toppings you guys have. And uh, that's the reason why I give you guys different options as well. So hopefully that kind of answered it for you guys if you guys are still confused on what kind of toppings to use on Sherbet. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.